Hello there, in this quick tip video, we're going to take a look at how you can either remove large sections with a lot of tracks instantly from your song and move sections together or fly or copy and paste different sections which contain a lot of information in all of the tracks which are housed inside these sections to other areas of your project. Let's go take a look and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Now in this project, I've got a lot of folder tracks. Inside these folder tracks are a lots of individual tracks or channels containing all of the important files and, and events for my project. So I could go down and open each one of these and you can see that there's, you know, 60 odd tracks there. So if we close all of these, it makes it really neat and tidy. And I can see all of the information that I have based in folder tracks. So this is a folder event. If I open the folder, you can see these events and the tracks that are housed inside that folder. But let's say I wanted to quickly copy this intro and paste it on the end of my track. Well, first of all, I'm just gonna make sure that there's room for me to do that. So I remove all of that and now I can come to my intro and I could say, give me all of this information and I could copy and paste it. But that gets a bit tedious. See what I've done there? I've accidentally selected the base from my verse. So I'd need to hold down shift and deselect that. And then I'd copy and paste it. There's a much neater way of being able to do that. So basically it involves holding down shift, highlighting all of these folder tracks that I have here, right mouse clicking and say, move selected tracks to a new folder. And as soon as I do that, I have a new folder and I could call this master. Master folder to make it very clear. Now, if I want, I could colorize that just simply by giving it, let's say red for now. And now you can see that that master folder holds all of the other folders or the subfolders that have now become inside my project. So if I want to copy and paste the intro, all I need to do now is find the intro. And because I've set out markers and I've also got an arranger track here, I can basically either use my range selection tool and just highlight it and now hold down alt and drag and drop that. Or I can get my scissors and I can put a nice little cut in here and I can pick up on that section right there, hold down alt and copy and paste. Now I can move that anywhere. So I've very quickly copied not just the intro, but all of the information which is stored inside of that folder. So. As soon as I hit play now, it's perfect. The only thing I need to be careful of is areas where there's files going over into the next section. So you always need to double check that when you're copying and pasting. Now let's look at removing a section from my track. So let's say I don't like this breakdown section here. Well, now I can get my scissors. Well, actually, let's use the range selection tool for this. I'm just going to highlight this and I'm going to hit delete. Gone. Now I can use my range selection tool and I can highlight all of this information and simply drag and drop it across. Now my breakdown section is completely gone. Of course, I'd need to go through and just rearrange my market track. So I'll now make that chorus and I'd need to change my event and my arranger track to make sure that that reflects the changes that I've made. So it's very easy to use folders to copy and paste or to remove sections of your song. Now let's say I just wanted the drums. So in this track, I've got both electronic drums and an acoustic drum kit, and they're both in their own folders. So now I could just highlight both of these and say move selected tracks to new folder. And I could call this drum master. Okay, now that I've got my drum master there, you can see that it's still showing me areas where my folders are chopped up. But now I can pick up on this and I can quickly just hold down Alt and copy and paste just the drums, make sure it's on the right channel. And now if I hit play, I'll just get the drums. So not only are folders a great way of being able to organize all of the information that we have inside of our projects, they're also a great way of moving mass events and data from one area to another and also removing large sections or even small sections. However large they are, we can instantly remove them and we can slide sections of our song forwards and back using both the arrow tool, the scissor tool, 
and also the range selection tool. You can also use the glue tool to glue events and our folders back together. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and check out this video. Please give us the thumbs up if you've learned something and subscribe to the Cubase YouTube channel for plenty more videos just like this. I'll see you there.